evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we have the NECC Finals here in the Navigators Division. We have WCU Crimson taking on Morningside University, Morningside JV. I'm Mountain Man. I'm JoJo's Mojo. And I'm Disagree. I mean, this is going to be an exciting match. It's been a couple weeks since these teams have played. They played back in week seven of competition. WCU taking that as a victory, three to one overall. One game went to overtime, which Western won. Then they lost game three in that series. But this is a best of seven. This is a much longer series length. Right now, Western being flawless in their playoff run. Morningside getting an upset last week over the previous season's champions, Southern Minnesota State University. So, And that was a pretty big upset, too. Four to one, the series score. Yeah, I'm definitely ready for uh, WCU coming in as the number one seed. Looking phenomenal. Uh, last week, they... Uh, 4 owed our opponent in the semifinals here, so we're getting pretty close to dropping in here. I, I'm not positive who the starting lineup is. Yeah, so far this season, we've seen all three or all four players on this squad carrying their weight, working well together. Last time these two teams met, it was Sean, Wooby, and Smalls playing together, but it looks like tonight it is going to be Sean, Wooby, and. Ooh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> and Smalls, once again. And it is, like we said, a best of seven series. Western trying to start things off strong, but Morningside also coming out really fast out of the gate. Right now, I think the main thing that Western needs to keep in mind is their consistency and their speed of play. When they control the game, there's not much anyone can do to stop them. Oh my gosh, and Sean just drills the crossbar. We'll be going for a fake. Smalls just missing. And now Western in a panic, going back defensively. A miscommunication, maybe, from Wilby and Sean. Yeah, still a good save there. It looked like it was off the upright anyways, but a shot there coming in, saved by Wilby. I mean, it's going to be a matter of who gets the control first. Who is more willing to slow down and play at their own pace and figure out how to play against the opposing team. Right now, Small is looking to pass to Sean. Instead, Sean just whiffs, and then Small's not ready for it. Wilby tries to find it or find an angle inside the post, isn't able to do so. And now Morningside throws it away for Smalls to go back in. And all three Mountaineers right there. Wilby goes up. Sean's going to get a free shot. That was, what was the phrase that we heard earlier? It was fast, hard, and quick. Fast, hard, and quick there from the Mountaineers. Sean <laughs> coming in. Sean's actually the one saying he didn't like that phrase. So there we go. I mean... What a great way to start the series off. A minute and five seconds in. Right now, Mountaineers in the lead 1-0. A quick kickoff goal here could really set them up well. Looking to see those white fish from Smalls. Not able to get the back of the net, though. Sean goes up in the air. Missing the touch. And a oh, double top woo. from Nelly ties, ties the up. game. Just seconds later. Yeah. I mean, this... Team. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a good yeah. series. I'm just, I'm just here for some good Rocket League. Yeah. Obviously, I'm here to cheer on the boys who are going well, so, so well, or going well so far through their season. I mean, first semester very rough, so this is a great way for them to turn it around and get momentum. Absolutely, WCU Crimson already locked in with their spot in the nationals, but right now they're just fighting for conference champions. Essentially. I mean. And I think they're looking to be the second conference champions in WCU history for esports, which, I mean, that's a great way to send off your senior season, which is what Sean is attempting to do. I know he won't be playing next fall, but he will return as a coach for Rocket League, if memory serves. If memory serves correctly, the other season champion for Western is our League of Legends team, correct? Yeah, League of Legends back uh, in... Uh... Fall of 2021, I believe. Yep. So it's been a while for WCU, but definitely excited. Coming in as the number one seed. They're looking good, but it all comes down to this matchup here. I mean, right now it's just a matter of WCU getting a little bit smarter with their touches. Right now they're just kind of playing a throwaway game. It's not working for them, but Sean, looking to get a decent power shot, isn't able to do so. Stonebreaker now coming in on the opposite side of the map and just not gonna be fast enough is Duffy as Sean gets, tries to go for a clear. And it's all Nelly right now for Morningside. Yeah, just a little bit past halfway here in game one. This is a best of seven series, WCU. I mean, 
what, last week they played in person, which was kind of the first time for WCU in WCU history for any game, so. How was that? Because I wasn't able to attend, unfortunately, and I wasn't able to help out casting, but. It was a great turnout. We had uh, over 20 people viewing uh, in person, online, and additional. We had Disagree on comms, which was great, and it was honestly Ooh. a great Great showing for WCU, definitely. A great aerial from Whoopi. It sets, rock, or sets Smalls up with a 50, and Smalls going to finish it. Great shot there. The white fish coming back out for Smalls. A great demo change, or demo exchange there for Whoopi. Allows that opening of the net, and now WCU up 2-1 to one with a minute 43 left on the clock. Which I know from last week, if Smalls finds his rhythm, <laughs> Smalls is a matchmaker right there scoring i believe it was 12 goals across all four games last week yeah small smalls was playing out of his mind last week so if smalls gets uh gets going it's it's dangerous coming from sean himself i do know a little bit more about just general team beliefs with each of the players and Overall, they've said that Smalls has been one of their most consistent and best players, thus why he has played in just about, if not every game so far this season. Yeah. Only changing out when absolutely Ooh. necessary, but that doesn't mean everyone else should be discredited as Sean almost gets a beautiful goal, and he now keeps the pressure in for WCU as Smalls rotates back to collect. Well, WCU doing a great job attacking offensively. Every time it's on defense, they're getting good clears just like right there. They're carrying it down the field. And less than a minute left in this game, WCU is up by one. So not a very commanding lead, Ooh. but Sean gets a free oh, shot on is. goal. Another, and... I mean, something else that we've seen this season, which was a comment I was able to give to Sean much earlier this year. Wobie and Sean have been one of the best passing combinations we have seen from Western. Absolutely. Sure. We've seen some phenomenal passes, shots. It generally is Wooby finding Sean. Sean coming out of, seems like nowhere, and getting a great goal, but WCU in command here with 30 seconds remaining. I mean, and that's one of those things that's just the speed at which Sean plays, yes. which comes from him being a grand champ, the second highest rank set in the game. And Smalls get a, gets a nice clear there as Nelly was going up for the shot. And Smalls again getting a nice clear as Nelly goes for the shot. I mean, right now it's just WCU playing controlled. I know that Sean there, I mean, he probably heard from Smalls that he was there defensively. Sean now going for the 50, isn't able to do so. Will be looking to just stop the extra goal from coming in. Sean helping out with that. They and Morningside's going to be, yeah. I mean, it will be game one for sure. But is WCU going to go for the salt in the wound? They're trying to keep it up as much as they can. Sean now tries to launch it in, isn't able to do so. I mean, Game one goes to the Mountaineers, but oh my goodness. Good playing there. WCU getting MVP is Smalls. I mean, Smalls topping the leaderboard. Sean right behind him and will be at the bottom, but will be not at the bottom overall. Stonebreaker and Duffy really need to pick up the pace for Morningside if they want to have a chance at winning this series. For sure. This uh, was all Melly from Morningside's perspective. And once WCU started to find their rhythm and figure that out, that was just game in favor of WCU. Not much needed to change, and I would say that Western, if they can keep playing like this, they'll have a lot of success really fast in the series. Yeah, I agree. Look. Definitely a good start. Anytime you come out winning game one, uh, it's it's definitely easy to carry that momentum. WCU winning three to one. Take a look at Morningside. They were playing pretty well, though. Like, I, I do think we're going to have a pretty solid matchup here, so... Yeah, and they weren't playing bad, don't get me wrong. Just the momentum in the play was definitely in favor of Western, which you can't be giving them that much space and control. The best way to counter Western is to instantly be on them. You can't give them the space because Sean and Smalls are used to it. Mm -hmm. If they get the space, they utilize it. And Wooby this semester, something that really changed from last year, he picked it up. He learned how to do that, and he's been maximizing it, which is why he's been such a passing threat. Yep, I agree. He's definitely uh, found a good matchup in this kind of team comp. As, like, don't get me wrong, he's been taking a lot of great shots, but just that like, passing chemistry That's between he and Sean asylum. has been phenomenal all season long. Oh my cool. gosh, and you can't discount the passing from Smalls, too, in this lineup. Everyone knowing their place and their times for everything. 
And I mean, sometimes miscommunications <laughs> like that happen, as I always, say. Always, always. It is Rocket happen, League. This is Rocket frequently. League. This is Rocket League. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, though, everyone in this lineup does know their positions, and even when there are double commits like that, it's not frequent you'll see other teams capitalize on them. WCU instead going to be taking control of the situation and being able to find what they need, where they need it, and calling off their teammates as well as Smalls calls off Sean, and now it's going to be Nelly in a one-on-one -on, -one on Whoopi. Gets demoed from the back by Smalls. That's a great demo to get the That's... demo and not hit the ball, so... Oh, Whoopi almost <laughs> gets the double tap. That would have been a nutty way for Whoopi to start out his scoring this series, but... Morningside, you definitely see doing a lot more uh, soft touches, good handles, but WCU just playing them well. I mean, the main thing that I th see as a difference between this and last game is the bumps coming from Morningside. Morningside going for a heavily physical game this, or in game two of this series. We'll be looking to close that shot out, isn't able to do so. Sean going to collect that boost as Smalls goes in on the attack. And yeah. Sean going to be able to follow up, gets the 50, Ooh. hits the corner. Will be just misses Ooh, wide. Jeez. Smalls going to flick it high as Sean up. He is, and he's going to finish it. Yep. WCU up one nothing. Three minutes left in this game. Yeah, WCU is looking good, and that's what they wanted coming in here into the finals. I mean, this is a best of seven series, and luckily enough, they were kind enough to set up the series tracker up top. That green dot signifying game one going to Western, if you're just tuning in. Right now, it is game two, and you can't really get too confident in a best of seven series like this. If or you can get too confident very fast, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, we're Ooh. watching another game just that earlier, was... and the team was up 3-0 in a best of seven series, and it ended up going to game seven. I, I mean, and that was a team that went undefeated in the regular season. Yeah, so anything is possible. WCU, though, keeps applying the pressure here. And again, Morningside is just opening the window for WCU to apply this pressure, giving them so much time and space to allow, or to correctly possess and control the ball something that you really can't have if you're morning side because western just goes too Good well with it there. oh my oh, gosh duffy gets back in time to save that that definitely was going to be a great opportunity for western they might have been able to actually score that as well sean now going to take his time collect that back corner boost gets bumped by nelly it's now smalls and will be in a one or in a 2v1 Good easily handled going up has a shot on goal. Nelly is up and misses, misses it. And it's post in. Wooby extends the lead with a pass from Smalls. Again, the communication and the team play on this Crimson squad from Western is something that I have yet to see having played Rocket League for three semesters now. And looking back at streams in the past, too, this is unreal. Yeah, this is definitely the best team WCU has seen. So. Rightfully so, as they're coming in as the number one seed. Fighting Sean puts for a shot on goal. Oh my gosh! It. Smalls playing the playmaker this game, going for passes left and right, sets it up. WCU now up 3 0. Not a minute and a half has passed since the first goal in this game. And as we go into that kickoff, that game we were talking about earlier, UHD did bring it back in game seven to make the series 4 to 3, but only by one point. Okay, well, was a close one. Yeah. Ooh, close series, but, I mean, there's reasons why teams are ranked number one in their division, regardless of what the series oh. length is. And a great flip from Smalls, oh. and then a 50 towards center just blocked in the nick of time by Stonebreaker. Now a, 50, or now a challenge from Sean, and a double commit, Sean and Wubby, leaving Duffy back alone. Another challenge from Sean, going to be bumping Duffy now. Smalls up to challenge early. We'll be looking to try and switch in, but he can't as small stays on too far. Even being up 3-0, WCU still keeping the pressure. Massive alive. save by Sean there as oh, Nelly puts his shot on the goal. Captain Sean just coming in clutch for his team tonight. And knowing exactly oh, what to do, he causes it. the own goal. Oh, post down, bounces off of Morningside's defenseman. Oh, that's heartbreaking if you're Morningside, but we're not. We're the Mountaineers. <laughs> That is what we want to see. 4-0, under a minute remaining in game two. If 
Paul's Morningside, I don't know what I'd be doing. WCU is just countering everything they try to bring. Right now, the main thing I'm seeing from Western is they are just changing pace so much that you can't find a rhythm. Changing pace, great teamwork, great rotations. We've honestly only seen a couple of double commits there. Smalls looked like he almost missed it, was able to recover well there. I mean, that was the smart decision from Smalls as well, yeah. having such a tight angle and tight opportunity to try and make a play happen. Sean is oh my gosh! Off the oh. Nobody there open No one net. there. And Let's Nelly's going to go. leave it for Stone, but with nine seconds left, <laughs> you can't tie this up. No, there's not no a chance. There is no possible way to tie this up. <laughs> So as captain of Slate here, JoJo, uh, does do you get timeouts in Rocket League as well? You do, but it's only, I think, a two-minute timeout between games, and okay. that's about it. Generally, teams for timeouts will actually use <laughs> the 30-second <laughs> timer. <laughs> well, it's okay. Uh, small. Now up nice pass to himself so there, off the kickoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Self-assist, you know, just yeah. as you do. No, um, but... You do get timeouts, but you only get like a minute or two in okay. total for the entire series. Okay. And that's between games. You can't call it in the middle of like game three or something. Right. <clears throat> Overwatch. But... <laughs> no, but in all seriousness... Uh, oh, great touch on the corner from Whoopi. Looking to try and finish it, but no, it's going to go down. Game two goes in favor of Western. Yeah, Mountaineers looking great already through two games. This is best of seven, so still plenty of time, but WCU is going to be tough to slow down at this point. Well, as I was saying, that as you can see, there is, or as you can't see, but there is a next game in X amount of time. There's a 60-second timer between games in the series. Excuse me. So teams can use that to their advantage, which... I know we've done that. I know sometimes this Crimson Squad has done it. Looks like Morningside's using it right now. None <laughs> yeah. of them have ready up. Uh, Leading but the Charger, we had Sean with three goals, two saves, four shots on goal. WCU just with slightly better ping. That could yeah. be it. Who knows? I, mean, I don't <laughs> quite think so, as Morningside also does have the opportunity to switch servers. That is true. Yeah. Or request a recreation of the servers if they need it. Stonebreaker leading for uh, Morningside here. And Nelly uh, going to the bottom. That I one's would, what I'm surprised about. I wouldn't necessarily have to say that's a surprise as Nelly did give up that goal to Stonebreaker. I feel like Nelly had the strong shot there, but just wanted Morningbreaker. But no, Storm, no, that was an uh, that was absolutely the correct play from Nelly to let Stonebreaker take that shot. But okay, trying to go back into the season, back in week. Oh gosh, this is. Oh, well, back here in game three, WCU leading 2-0 in this best of seven series over Morningside. Shot there from Woody coming in hot and aggressive. WCU not letting off the gas, quite literally. Sean centers it. <laughs> Nelly clears it to the other corner this time. Woody's in the air, going to be so faking Sean. it for Smalls to come through. A double great fake. double fake. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that was entirely intentional. 100%. But, 100%. <laughs> I mean, right there, you can see both turned <laughs> off of it, thinking that the other would hit. Yeah. And Smalls reading that recognized that Morningside <laughs> wouldn't be ready for him to come in. That's a bold move. Yeah, Morningside. Especially at a tie game. No clue what was going on there. If WC would have missed that, it would have been an open net there for a Morningside. But worked out in the Mountaineers' favor. Yeah, and looking back on the season two, I know that for the longest time, Sean actually did keep stats of his team. So back in week nine, the final week of play, in 25 games, Sean had 31 goals, 20 assists, 20 saves, and 90 shots. Ooh. And that was just one of the players. In 28 games, Smalls had 32, 20, 23, and 94. Yeah, WCU definitely in a very aggressive offensive team, but still does well defensively. It was a good defensive touch, but didn't work out. Morningside on the attack. Now. Yeah, the defense is really where if you can truly capitalize on it, you're going to succeed. Ooh. Like that, where Stonebreaker ties it up after a bad communication from WCU. I mean, a great idea from Wilby, but yeah, a double commit from Smalls means that no one's quite there in time. 
Sean, Sean just, just missing it. Just missing it. We saw the popcorn fly, and now we're tied up 1-1 <laughs> with 3 minutes 47 seconds remaining here in Game 3. To answer your question, Master, WCU this semester for Rocket League, Crimson specifically, finished at rank 1 in their conference, which is really good. Yeah, and... Yeah. Finish the regular season eight and one. Their only yes. loss oh, coming. Oh, another defensive breakdown as Whoopi just misses his flip and turn, and Sean misses the challenge. Small's nowhere to be seen. Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, unfortunate in game three. But this is what we saw last time these two teams met. First two games going pretty handily in favor of WCU. In game three, Morningside was able to find their rhythm and find their attack pattern. Right now, though, Western's still looking confident. Three and three minutes, 20 seconds. Last game, they this was when the first goal was scored. And Sean looks for a chance, but Duffy just going to be sitting back playing goalkeeper. Yeah, we're definitely seeing a Duffy. Honestly, just Morningside is kind of playing a little, a little safe, having uh, one player back. Good pass there to Wooby Wooby with the clear. And the team play from this Crimson squad is something that, as I've said, is one of the biggest difference makers as a whole. Ooh, Ooh. Smalls! A risky, that was risky, <laughs> but it paid off as he was able to get back just in time. And Smalls back in time again to save that one, and now tries to clear it, isn't able to do so as Duffy gets the challenge. It's now over for Wooby to try and challenge Nelly. Wooby gets the challenge off, gets a second touch, gonna be chasing it, tries to get a center, isn't able to do so, it's gonna be popped. Sean going in, it's a 50 out back to Western's defensive half as we just crossed this halfway mark in game three. Yeah, Morningside playing very aggressively, even with that 2-1 victory. They're looking to win this game three. They do not want to go down three in this series. That is tough to come back from. Going down, I mean, yeah, that's an unreal comeback. And as we, oh, and Sean just misses his shot. Oh, oh no. Unfortunate. He's going to be kicking himself for that one. Yeah, but wide open net there, but. It happens. The hardest net for someone to score on is an open one it's that idea of there's so much you could do that the easiest option just putting it in seems too simple <laughs> i feel like anytime it's hard for me to score <laughs> caterade knows that <laughs> <laughs> and now small's gonna be cutting in gets the touch over one trying to get it past two he does is he gonna try and pass it center no he's gonna turn off and play it safe Gets the bump for Sean to now go in. Gets a backboard pass as Will be going to try and finish. Ooh, he will, but unable there. to get it as Nelly is there defensively. And now it's another offensive chance for Morningside. Yeah, down to a minute 20 here for the Mountaineers. They're still down one goal here. Will be looking to try and change the pace. Gets the oh. bump. Sean just missing the shot again. Nelly puts it in the air. Smalls has to contest. He does. Gets demoed for it. Another open shot. Sean coming in. Gets the slight clear. Morningside keeping the pressure on, though. I mean, right now, the main thing that we're seeing is that Morningside is keeping one back, and WCU just can't do enough to counter that. And they, as soon as something like that happens where there's a demo, they just change up who's in rotation. Ooh. And now a double commit from the Mountaineers leaves Wilby stranded back alone. Gets the 50 to challenge it upfield or push it forward. Will be with zero, puts it towards net. It's going to be over. It's a backboard pass for someone. Smalls tries to finish, isn't able to do so. Sean looking to now maybe get a backboard pass as well. Gets the pass off, tries to pass it again, isn't able to do so. Smalls comes in trying to finish, and Duffy is there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, down to 20 seconds here, WCU. Full attack mode here. Right now, Western really just needs one good play. A lucky bounce even could work. Oh, and a good pop from Wooby allows for maybe Sean to get there, but no, not able to do it. Smalls is now back, clangs it downfield. It's high. It's going to be a touch from Stone. It's now a double commit from Small or from Sean and Wooby. Smalls just misses his flip, and that is going to be game three in favor of Morningside JV. This looks exactly like it did in a regular season. <laughs> We're gonna take a look at the scoreboard here. We had Morningside leading the charge with a Stonebreaker. Middle of the pack though. Duffy with three saves, two shots, and one assist led the charge. Smoles actually with the most amount of points though that they're on the board. It's gonna be a good matchup here. We're going to game four WCU. Still with a slight lead, two to one. 
over Morningside. We're going to take a short break here, but we'll be back to the action in just a minute. And we're going into game four here. WCU leads two to one over Morningside JV. This is WCU Crimson here in the NECC finals. We do see a sub coming in thing for Whoopi. So all four primary Mountaineers gonna be playing this game tonight. A chance for Morningside isn't able to capitalize though. Thing now trying to play super aggressive. Sean now, or Sean gets an attempt, isn't able to follow up. Smalls looking to clear it. Gets challenged by Duffy, I believe. No, not Duffy, Nelly. Thing goes up, misses his challenge. It's a back pass, or an easy pass there for Sean, who clings it downfield, looks for a shot, isn't able to find it. Another double commit from the Mountaineers. Smalls gets a softer touch. It's going to be a controlled hit from Duffy. And Thing, oh, oh. Nelly just gets in the way, unable to finish it. Great Eight save thing. there from Morningside. Smalls keeping the pressure on off the upper post. Thing coming in doesn't have the power. Save there by Nelly yet again. Nelly is a defensive force in this matchup. Yeah, and I don't necessarily know if I fully agree with the sub decision, but I do think that it could help. Thing is still a very solid player from WCU, and when he finds his groove just like Smalls, he's hard to stop. So he just needs to get into that groove, having sat for the past three games is... Not what you want to see, but he's definitely able to do enough if he gets the control he needs. And oh, as I said, there, there it is, the power shot from Thing, putting WCU up by one fairly early, a minute 20 into this game four. Beautiful execution there. I agree, coming in after not playing for three games is challenging, but Thing makes it look easy there. Couple missed touches early on, but I think Thing is starting to find his rhythm. I mean, Duffy with a good kickoff clear. It looks like that was a calculated play from Morningside as they answer fast. Well played there. They had two offensive players there, both Duffy and Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker, Stonebreaker getting the finish. I mean, right there, it was just a harsh challenge from WCU. Both players going upfield instead of one staying back, as you normally would see. Oftentimes, we call that a double commit, but when you're going for the goal... Sometimes it pays off. I mean, and even still, it is a double commit. It's just a double commit that was better executed. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Smalls with the challenge does put the ball forward. Going to turn back. Sean now going to be the aggressor for WCU. Tries to pass it to the middle. Isn't able to find anyone as now Smalls comes in. Thing looking to play a third man today. Ooh, Thing gets the tap. It could be there. Duffy with a great clear, though, sending it deep into Mountaineer territory. And Sean now With up, gets a good Ooh. challenge. Duffy just didn't have enough boost to fully commit to that. Smalls now with a soft touch to clear it between two. Looks for a touch over. And Sean gets the climb <laughs> downfield, sending Smalls as well. It's going to be a shot from Nelly. Thing has to be there, isn't. And that's a quick follow-up. Easy for Morningside to finish it. Morningside now leading 2-1 here with 2 minutes 39 seconds remaining in game 4. I mean, they are playing a consistent and solid game. That is the main difference that we've seen between the first two games in the series. Right now, it's looking like the control is in favor of Morningside. As Thing goes up, tries oh. to get a shot off, isn't able to find it. Over for Sean now. Thing gets a bump in front of the net. Small's trying to pass to Sean. It's going to be a clear downfield. It's going to bump, pop high middle. For someone to try and finish no one there for morningside smalls now gonna slow down play it wide looks to try and line up his shot doesn't have the time as thing clangs it in gets it self pass from thing it sneaks it just inside the post on that second shot i'm gonna say i think thing was a good sub here thing with both goals here in this game four. Oh, and just over the top of nelly nelly landing a little too awkward on the side of the post game is tied two to two as we are under the halfway mark yeah, this is definitely going to be an exciting series. Clearly, we're hoping for WCU to come away with a victory, but nonetheless, it is exciting to see the competitiveness between these two teams. I mean, Sean just going to throw it towards the net with a good angle or a good power shot. Not quite. Oh, a great Ooh. save from Smalls. Now he almost finishes it. Oh. Another block from WCU, and it's going to be a hard clear from Smalls once again, who gets the bump, goes for the boost. 
almost has a chance to put another one in. I feel like there's a little bit of messy play here. Oh, Unable to is. save it. Nelly with the goal there. Taking the lead for Morningside. 3-2 to two with a minute 41 remaining. I mean, that was a fast commit from the thing, which if you it hit was. the ball, if you just need, like, at that point, you just need some sort of touch to stall the ball on the field so your team can get back. Just missing that touch is thing, and that allows Morningside to capitalize and get a good opportunity, which they do manage to score on. Western Colorado with a minute 30 remaining is going to have to be aggressive here. Whew, good, good save, save. from Sean as he's going to challenge again. Gets a 50 upfield. Duffy, though, there to collect passes up to Stone. So now a shot towards net from Duffy. And Sean tries to get a hit, isn't able to find it. Smalls gets demoed on that left side. And yeah. Sean looks for a shot, tries to put it far side. Duffy's ready for it. Smalls goes up to try and get the touch, gets the save and clear. Sean tries to redirect over Stone, isn't able to find it, though. And now Sean gets the 50, going to pop it high middle. And Thing's going to be there to try and control it. Looks for a block in the air, isn't able to quite find it. And now Nelly has a chance, throws it towards net. Sean able to clear it wide fairly easily. I think Western Colorado playing a little scared here, being down by one with only 40 seconds remaining. An attempt here and oh, just off, off the, the post. Oh. And Thing looks for the hat trick, isn't able to find it. Sean pops it middle. Someone's got to be there from WCU and yeah. once... This is what we saw very early this season. No one was there. It was just someone got caught on rotation with another. Sean gets the 50 over. Small's looking now to try and beat or win the race. Thing now alone at the back. Passes it over to Sean. Sean going to get a touch back. And Small's going to go in, just be able to get there in time to keep the ball. Small's now a zero boost. Going to get the touch downfield. Going to be collected by Stone. It's a pass center. No one's there though. Thank it's another touch. It's gonna touch the side. Oh my gosh. This and will do it. Oh, maybe. It's keeping it alive. And that yeah. will do it. <laughs> Game or series is tied two to two. Yeah, WC winning those first two games. Morningside coming back and winning the next two. Wow. Taking a look at the scoreboard, Morningside sharing the wealth. One goal for each player there, Thing coming in as the sub, getting both goals there for the Mountaineers. I mean, right now, I think Western really needs to make sure that they just play their game. They're falling into Morningside's trap of just playing how Morningside wants them to. And Morningside finding the, uh, or finding the chances to capitalize on the mistakes of Western. That's really making the difference in this game. Yeah, Western Colorado, I mean, bringing in the sub, I kind of had mixed feelings about it. It did work out. Thing was playing well, but WCU is going to have to figure out how to stop the momentum and shift here. Going to keep Thing in. I mean, yeah, at this great, point, it's... Yeah, it's a great decision. It's I a think, smart decision, last I think, game. right now, keeping this lineup. Once they start to work together, they'll be fine. They just need to find their motion or find their rhythm. Thing goes high, gets bumped off the ball, tries to flip back onto the wall, isn't able to quite find it though. Ooh, and a weird challenge. Uncharacteristic from Smalls there. But not necessarily the worst. Sean missing that touch allows Nelly to clang it downfield. Right now, Morningside just playing the clang down or clang game. And they're winning with it. Well, WC playing a little frazzled, but Morningside still, they're just playing well, playing very offensively. WCU Ooh. on their toes, getting a couple of missed touches here and there. So, Again, right now the main difference is that Morningside is finding those missed touches and capitalizing on everything that they can. Smalls now looks for the pass over, and it's going to be a quick, easy save from Nelly. Sean looks to center. Thing tries to get a chance. Isn't able to find it. Sean goes in now. Passing center. It's high. Smalls goes for a dunk. Isn't able to connect. Oof. And now it's just all the pressure coming from WCU as they are not relenting. Woo! And Thing, once again for WCU, puts them up within the first minute and a half. Absolutely. Once Thing came in, th Thing now has three goals for the Mountaineers. The last three goals the Mountaineers have scored, so definitely a good sub there. WCU needs to keep the pressure on here, though. Yeah, the main thing is that the pressure is going to be the key aspect. 
and Morningside looking to get a good chance as Nelly gets the challenge off, reads the touch from Smalls. It's a pop from Thing, gets, oh, a great touch from Sean. Thing now popping it off the wall. Smalls gonna come in, tries to get the touch, lands, looks for another. Thing gonna pop it for Sean. Sean looking to get a touch towards middle, almost finds it on net. Did see it all three Mountaineers in that right corner. Definitely not what you want to see, but didn't hurt them too bad. It's good attempt here, Sean. Just missing it. Nelly coming in with a great save. I mean, right now, Western is just getting all the chances. Using that backboard is their advantage. And Small's going to pass it to Nelly, who's going to get a quick shot off. Hits the post. The rebound is there, and Sean not able to defend it. Morning's uh, tying it up. I don't think that pass from Small <laughs> Back down from the net was helpful, but... The idea was there. The yeah. execution wasn't quite sure. enough. Nelly was just barely in the way, mm -hmm. enough to get that redirect, and Sean read it bouncing a bit differently, which I don't blame him. That corner is one of the harder places to read in this game. High pop allows for Sean to whiff it, <laughs> which... Smalls not, not what he was wanting. Whiffs it. Smalls whiffs it. See, WCU, just a couple missed touches Ooh. here. Good bump there. I mean, going for those aerial bumps is risky in of itself, but especially when you're one of the last two defensively for your team, that is scary territory. Sean now gets the shot off, or not a shot, he gets yeah, the clear off. Left. Just wide, but Thing gets the challenge, gets the touch that he needs. Gonna fake the attempt. Smalls goes in, clears it high. Gonna be a spike down. Ooh. Oh, and oh. Smalls tries for the shot on. Duffy there to block it in the nick of time. Great read there from Morningside defense. I mean, Morningside right now just playing a consistent, controlled game. Something that Western was doing very early in this series. Double and now, commit there, triple. nobody back. Just the open oh, goal. Oh my gosh, a defensive breakdown from Western. Yeah, I saw the double commit early, and WCU just missing it late. Stonebreaker with the finish. That popcorn is popping for our Morningside. <laughs> So this is a best of seven series, so still at least guaranteed one more game after this. I mean, a center oh. from Sean gets an attempt, or that's the attempt, but... Oh, could be a good look. A little high, though, there for Morningside. And a bit of a mistouch from Smalls, if I am so bold to say it, which I am. He should have maybe tried a smaller on-the-ground touch to his teammate, but the communication wasn't quite there for that to happen. And Thing with no boost, just trying to put pressure on, gets a touch. I'm going to stay on the ball. Gets a 50 to the side. Smalls and Sean both on rotation. Western just using all of their boost right now. It is a best of seven series, so first to four. Look Ooh. there. Oh, and, and Smalls touch. with the pop and Sean Ooh. with the extra little oomph that he needed to put the Mountaineers back at a tied game with a minute 14. I feel like Nelly had that save if Sean didn't get that touch off. Absolutely, we're tied 2-2 here in game five. The series currently tied 2-2, best of seven. First to four wins this. Smalls with another look off the top post. Nobody there for the Mountaineers. Thing getting a touch, but Morningside on the attack. Good look there, but well defended from the Mountaineers. And sorry, I was just double checking the timeout rules just to see <laughs> in case we might need to have one come in. You are allowed to take the full 60 second timer in between games, but other than that, the only reason is for ping or hardware issues. Okay. WCU Ooh. generally does not use timeouts, but oh there my is gosh. a shot there from Nelly with 39 seconds remaining. Morningside now in the lead. Again, it's just one or two commits from WCU, and Morningside's just playing it right past the two. That stranded Smalls, and Smalls wasn't able to get back with enough time. I mean, 40 seconds on the clock here. Western still has time to tie it up, but they're going to need to do a lot. Another commit from Smalls puts... Or another commit from Thing puts him a bit out of position. Sean goes for the redirect. Tough, or Duffy sees it. Thing now goes in as the last back. That's a demo. Find... It's on goal. Smalls there to, for the save. And Thing gets a block, but not able to clear it out. Western now on their heels, playing this very slow back thing alone, gets the pop high. Sean goes for a high touch again. Smalls or Thing gonna have to get the clear. They do. Thing gets it. It's now a center. Smalls has a chance. 
And he ties Ooh, it! Ties it with 30 seconds remaining! A great pop from Thing, or a great clear from Thing allows for the pop defensively from Morningside, and Small's able to clean it up. There's the fish that we wanted to see. <laughs> This is looking to be a great series. I mean, this is kind of what Sean looks for. Oh, he was looking for a shot opportunity off the kickoff to not allow this game to go into overtime. Morningside trying to do the same, and WC just going to let it drop to the ground. Honestly, this could go either way. Both teams playing well, and neither team with really like the best momentum. Morningside coming in the winning two in a row, so. Sean tries to get the dunk there, isn't able to find it. Smalls now tries for the clear. Morningside gets a chance, not able to, to fully co or collect on it, though. And now WCU has a chance for a counterattack. It's not going to fully happen. Oh, and Morningside is just <laughs> putting the pressure on. Sean. There's a demo onto Smalls. Sean going to get the clear. Goes in for a second. It's going to be a high shot. Is there anyone there for WC? There is. Ooh. Smalls gets the touch and going to follow up. Stonebreaker there. Thing now gets the clear up field. Duffy gonna be in the back line. Smalls goes for the bump. He finds it. Is Sean up? He is! Sean is and Sean finishes it. it! Unbelievable there. Mountaineers win game five. Four to three in overtime. This is shaping to be another close series. I mean, it already is. Hard fought battle back and forth. Western on the brink of winning their season. <laughs> Not just the playoffs. But the entire thing, or not just the regular season, but the playoffs as well. You shut up. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't got warned. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were laughing at my inability to speak, which no. is not <laughs> shocking like, to anyone. Yeah, but either way, with both these teams, both these teams have clinched national spots either way, win or lose here. But definitely looking for that WCU win, giving them a better seeding going into nationals but so is morningside morningside isn't ranked first so a win here i do believe bumps them up significantly as well yeah i mean everyone's looking for the win too because that oh, yeah. is the better piece of hardware to have not a second place trophy although it's still nice to have that <laughs> oh, yeah. the first place is really what you're looking for and right now sean thing and smalls are just connecting where they need to that first game was a little bit more rough second game wcu I mean, that was a tight overtime. It could have gone either way at any point. And a great finish from Sean, from Sean puts Western up three, or puts them up three to two in the series, looking to finish it out here. Yeah, Western Colorado with a win here will win their finals. Game six, opening kickoff. Sean going to win it forward. T. Duffy looking for the back pass. Thing goes up, gets a pinch down, tries to play it perfectly center, isn't quite able to get the exact pinch he needed. But WCU going to be trying to put the pressure on early and put Morningside on their heels as best as they can. Sean with only 20 boosts going to be challenging this on the wall, gets the center off the backboard. Small's coming in, but no, it's Ooh. Thing! Quick goal from WCU, 20 seconds into game six. Yeah, it's definitely a great stop, start there from the Mountaineers, putting the pressure on Morningside, essentially coming out, telling them they need to score if they want to stay alive. I mean, three goals from, er, so far in this series, the games have been opened up with things scoring from when he got subbed in. He has been the first goal scorer of every game since he first started playing against Morningside this, in this series. Good look there for Morningside. Slightly high. WCU trying to clear it out of their zone. Morningside keeping the pressure alive, though. I mean, they're just throwing it. That's what I'm seeing, though. Morningside is really just throwing all control and possession away and is allowing WCU to get challenges like that, where now it's a two-on-two -two for a second as their last response. Drop down. Nobody there for the Mountaineers. Coming center again. And it's just those passes upfield, those small touches, which seem so harmless, that are really giving Morningside an edge. Oh, Smalls has to get the touch here. He does. Play, just man. clears it wide of Nelly. And now Thing going to get the 50. It's going to land, or Sean going to get the 50. He's going to land on Thing. He plays it back. Good tries to play, find Smalls, play, but a man. great demo from Duffy. And now it's a center. Thing has to get up. He oh. doesn't block it correctly, though. And Nelly puts it into the back of the net. 3.45 left on the clock. Took about a full minute for that goal to be scored. Oh, thing just missing that save. This is exactly what we expected here from the finals. Great matchup between these two teams here. Close series is all you can be wanting. Thing oh. gets the second though, just off the kickoff. <laughs> My gosh. 
a great challenge from Smalls, and Nelly just goes for the wrong thing. He chooses the bump over yeah. the ball. Generally, you see a boost over ball, but no, Nelly went for the bump to take Smalls out of the play, not realizing Thing was right there. And you can see that the nerves are getting to Morningside, Stone, namely on that kickoff. If you see those tires spinning, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just oh going my back and forth. Every time the Mountaineers score, Morningside is there with the answer. I mean, Stone, whatever, Stone is just <laughs> fidgety, but Duffy and Nelly playing calm, cool, and collective. This is looking to be a great game. Thing going up early for a touch, missing. Oh. I mean, that would have been a great way to get a hat trick in game six, but... <laughs> A slow play here in the corner. WCU trying to attack. Morningside with a good touch. Thing clearing it downfield. It's just going back and forth at this point. And Duffy just playing that slow defensive third. That's really what Morningside needed because that's really how WC was able to capitalize a lot. And that's why Morningside won that first, their first game that they won this series in game three. But now in game six, I mean, I think Western might actually have the answer, and now they're playing more as a team. They're finding their rotations, getting on the patterns that they need to. Small's now coming in, forces a clang down. Sean gonna be able to turn on it, maybe. No, it's a pass center thing. Gets in the way enough to where Stone has to play that wide. It's a missed pass as Duffy whiffs. Small's now gonna be going for an air dribble. Gets the touch past Nelly. A second touch down, and Stone's gonna clear it up the wall. Sean, er, yeah, Sean there for the Mountaineers. Looks across the goal. Doesn't have anyone to finish it, though. Western Ooh. Colorado definitely having some better passes here. Morningside getting some good looks, but nobody there for the follow-up. Morningside now on the attack. Sean with the oh, clear, the 50. and it's in. The 50 from Sean puts the Mountaineers up 3-2 to two with 2.18 left on the clock. I mean, just a great challenge. The positioning from Sean there really showing why he's the captain of this team and he is leading his team super well tonight making sure that they don't get overconfident but they're not playing scared either now wcu keeping the pressure on even with the vic or with the lead a look there from sean oh well and duffy defended. i mean one one i think nelly went high and duffy went low which is a great defensive play smalls missing his flip Thing is already low on boost. Gonna just pop it out. Gets a 50, and Sean's gonna get the clear wide. Nelly is now looking to keep the pressure from Morningside. Small's gonna get the touch over Nelly. Looking to get a second here. Duffy able to answer it, though. Nelly tries to center. Sean gonna cling it over, too. It's gonna be collected by Stone, who pops it up. It's gonna be a shot here from Duffy. No one there to finish it for Morningside. Ooh, Thing up correctly. Just the ball lands on Sean. And now Small's looking to try and pass to Duffy. And Duffy's not ready for it. Yeah, Morningside definitely starting to play a little frantic. They know their championship is on the line here. Minute 20, and they're down by one. And it's a shot there from Nelly, but it's quickly cleared off to the side. WCU not wanting to get it any closer to the net than they have to let it. Ooh, Ooh a guillotine shot. hit, as we on Slate like to call it, where it spikes down off the ceiling, and it's just cleared by the Mountaineers and just whiffed by Morningside. Speaking of, a whiff from Morningside, look at that. Sean now with a chance to pass it off the backboard. Pops it high, looking for a center from WCU. No, not able to find it. Smalls now pops it to center, looking for Sean to come in. Sean gets the 50 over to the side. Thing now going to get the touch. Going to chase it up the wall, puts it towards the net, tries to read it high, isn't able to do so. Smalls looks to clear off to the side. 36 seconds left on the clock before for Western to hold off. And they get another Ooh. goal! Two goal lead for the Mountaineers with 30 seconds left. This is, this is huge. Good. All they gotta do now is so just play defend. solid defense here. At this point, I would say the thing that the Mountaineers need to do is do what Slate's strategy was last semester. <laughs> Send that down the field and keep it over there. <laughs> That's it. You don't need to have control. You don't need to have the shots. You just need to throw it away and force Morningside to play in their half. A great demo from Smalls. Sean going to collect it to the corner. It's going to be cleared up by Stone. Stonebreaker passes it, trying to find anyone. Duffy coming in now. Threads it between two Mountaineers. Things there defensively, though. Sean trying to get in the way. Thing now with the clear. Tries to find the hat trick, and he will! Woo! The Mountaineers! Mountaineers are gonna be NECC champions. I mean, five to two in game six. This is a great series from Morningside JV. 
you can't get three goals in 10 seconds. You can't definitely can't in six. <laughs> so Morningside just trying to make the score a little bit nicer. Western just trying to defend, but they don't care as much now. <laughs> Thing clearing it with the hat trick, and that will do it. WCU wins their second ever championship and their first ever Rocket League championship. Five to two, the score in game five, or game six. Absolutely, that was well played there from the Mountaineers. Definitely a great matchup between both teams. Unbelievable way to end spring 2023. And we got to see every player from Crimson come out. Everyone who has played this season for Crimson has been just consistent and solid. And right now, we see why. Oh, your game stinks. Absolutely. We're going we're gonna to take a short break here, and we're going to bring in uh, Sean as... Rocket League Crimson captain and have a quick interview, but we're going to take a short break, let them celebrate a little bit, and we'll be back in about five minutes.
All right, well, we're here with Crimson Captain Sean. Having just won the Nationals, like, what's going through, or having just won playoffs, what's going through your head right now? Oh, man, like, I don't know. I'm just, like, so proud of proud of us. Like, we, we've handled some adversity this school year, and this was a... Uh, this was a much much uh, needed and deserved win for the squad, so I'm I'm just so happy for us. Yeah, early in this series, the first three games we had Wooby playing with you and Smalls, and then we had Thing come in in Game Four. What was the thought process there, and what did what was going through everyone's minds as you lost those two back to back? Um, so we subbed Wooby out. He, I mean, he he took himself out just because I think. I mean, now that the series is over and we can admit it, I think we're all very jittery. Um, it's you know it was a big deal to be playing in this game today, and so I think you know he was just really nervous, and so he took himself out. And you know, losing that second game, it you know it's it's hard not for it to pop into your head like, oh man, like what if we blow this right? And so obviously you have thoughts like that, but you try and regroup right away and. Yeah, I mean, we just did our best to stay composed and worked out. Right now, what are you guys' thoughts? Like, you've guaranteed Nationals going into tonight, and now you just seated yourselves higher. So what's your game plan for next week? Are you, what are you guys thinking for practicing, for getting ready for Nationals to try and make it as far as you can? Um, I, I think just kind of stick with our formula. I mean, you know, we just won the regional playoff, so we must be doing something right, you know? Like, um. But, yeah, no, I mean, just kind of sticking with what we have and not trying to reinvent the wheel. I mean, just trying to hone in on our team play and what each individual does. I mean, what did, what's been the journey for you? You've been here for four years. I'm going to assume that you've played for the Rocket League squad all four years. What are the changes you've noticed from season to season, not just in the teams that you play with, but just as a program? How have you seen this grow? How have you seen this change? I think, like, it's just a lot more structured than when I first came in. You know, I first came in and we were in a league that wasn't that great and we were playing teams that were just way above our skill level and it just wasn't super organized. And so, you know, it's it's hard to really dig deep and enjoy those kinds of games. But, you know, as, as the years have gone on, we've kind of taken a bigger step each and each year and i got to give credit to Zach for that. I mean, he's created a program that, makes it feel legit you know it doesn't just feel like I'm playing video games with friends anymore it feels like I'm here to compete and I'm representing Western and that's you know I uh, I like to think that I shine you know I elevate my game when the lights are brightest and so you know I'm um, just having having that structure and that team behind me really helps and then I know that something that happened earlier on in this season this semester specifically was you asking Zach what happens if you guys win playoffs. Mm -hmm. And if memory serves, the response was that you get to choose something off the team store. So what are you choosing? Oh, yeah, I'm getting a hoodie. And I – look, I think we talked about it after we won, and I think we're all getting hoodies. I mean, those hoodies are sick, man. Like, <laughs> just walking around, like, I don't know. And it, and it gets cold in Gunnison, so it never hurts to have a jacket. So <laughs> – well, I mean, that's all the questions I've got. Mountain Man, you got anything? Absolutely. Just want to say thank you and congrats on the great season. Thank I'm looking you. forward to Nationals, and let's keep it rolling, you know? Let's keep it rolling. Keep this momentum. Sweet. Great job tonight. Thank you.